Hi, this is Justice. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Brush Creator's pressure settings. So we're going to talk about size, opacity, multiplier, and maximum. The first thing I want to do here is I want to talk about the difference between size here of 100, max size of 100, and size over here in the properties panel of 100. They all say the same number. What do they do? How are they different? All right, so max size is probably the easiest one to grasp. This is going to limit the size that's available for the brush. So if we have this at 100, it's going to be a maximum size of 100 pixels, and here a maximum size of 700 pixels based off what we have here. So let's go ahead and put this back at 100. Now I've taken the pressure slider right here, the size right here, and I've reduced this to zero. Zero means that this is going to be affected by pressure 0%. So it's gonna stay consistent all the way across, no matter if I press soft or hard. This size right here is going to be a percentage of the max size. Now it is not a straight 150% is not going to be 50 pixels over here. These vary from brush to brush. So where you have a pencil where all of the lines are typically smaller, or you have a watercolor or an oil brush where they're typically larger, it will vary and the algorithm behind the scenes is going to be different here. So what you want to understand is that if this is larger, this is going to be larger. If this is smaller, it's going to be smaller. And it's not going to be necessarily a straight shot across the bow. So as a quick reminder, the reason this is set up the way it is, is this is going to allow us to change all of the watercolor brushes at the same time. So we can choose to adjust all of the brushes size or only the one specific brush, and that's based off of what we have for preset volumes here and what we have selected over here, whether we're saving volumes and paint modes or we're not. So size right here, what we need to do is we need to allow the brush to be controlled by pressure. So right now, size is controllable, 0%. Over here, we don't care whether pressure is being used or not. We could be drawing with a mouse and it's gonna give us this 92, or 50 size, and it doesn't look at pressure at all. Let's put this back at 100. We're gonna bring this up to 25%, and what you're gonna see is that this is allowing the shape of the brush to be adjusted 25%. So from 100% down to 75%, that's how much this brush shape is going to grow and shrink. So let's bring this up. 50 makes sense, it's going to grow and shrink about 50%. And 100 is going to give us the ability to use pressure to fully adjust the size of the brush. The same thing works for opacity. We want opacity to be adjustable with pressure. We just have to turn this up as much as we want it adjustable. Let's go ahead and put this back at zero. And let's go into the negatives here. Let's clear this layer. And here, if I put this all the way over, you'll understand quickly. You can see the brush preview right here. So if I push lightly, I'm gonna have the full size of the brush. If I push heavy, I'm going to get that really small line because I have size set to negative 100. Again, the same thing works with opacity. Now the multiplier and the maximum, the multiplier, what this does is it takes the pressure coming from the pen and it multiplies it at 100, it multiplies it by one. So if you're pushing about half as hard as you can, about 50%, then the multiplier here with a setting of 100 is going to give you 50% pressure. You set it at 200 and you push a medium amount, roughly 50% pressure, 200 is going to give you a full pressure response very easily. If you bring this down to roughly 50%, this is going to multiply the amount of pressure coming from the pen by 0.48, or roughly half of what you would be pushing. The maximum here, this is going to limit the total amount that's possible with pressure from the pen. So the maximum is a top-down limiter. So if you want to keep pressure from getting all the way to the top, so you want to keep yourself from getting to these really full blacks, what you can do is you can drop this maximum down and this is going to decrease the available pressure. All right, because that is pressure, size, opacity, multiplier, maximum, 
and our max size in pixels. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Questions and comments in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video where we're going to be talking about the shape properties here inside of the brush creator.